Bishop-elect Larry Kulik is a Western PA native, born and raised in Leechburg, where he was a parishioner of the former St. Martha Parish. He graduated from St. Joseph High School in Natrona Heights and went on to St. Vincent College for a bachelor's and two master's degrees. He was ordained to the priesthood on May 16, 1992, and went on to earn a canon law degree from the Catholic University of America in Washington, D.C. Bishop-elect Kulik served at parishes in Greensburg, Irwin, Kent, New Kensington, and New Alexandria over the past 18 years, not to mention serving in several diocesan assignments, including Vicar General and Moderator of the Curia under two previous bishops. On Friday, December 18, 2020, the Holy Father Pope Francis named him Bishop of the Diocese of Greensburg. My yes was predicated on my love of the diocese my being here at home in Western Pennsylvania, and what a blessing it is for me and an honor to be able to serve the diocese that is my home, the diocese where I was raised, the diocese where I first heard the call to priesthood, the diocese where I received all of my sacraments, the diocese I was ordained for, the diocese that I've served for the last 28 years. Um, I don't underestimate um, the blessing of that and the awesome responsibility that comes with that. There's no doubt he's a roll up your sleeves and get to work priest. In fact, at 54 years old, he's known by many to be a strategic thinker and energetic leader, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic, helping to develop safety protocols to return to in-person worship and enable volunteerism at our parishes so they can support their faith communities. All 78 parishes donated items or facilitated financial assistance for those in need during the pandemic. $250,000 of assistance was distributed by parishes in the four counties of the Diocese of Greensburg and another $200,000 in COVID-19 relief dollars via Catholic Charities. To date, more than 15,000 people were helped by the good folks of the Diocese of Greensburg. We have a lot of work to do, but I'm not fearful about that work. I'm confident. But what I need is your help, and together we all need to work together to continue to build up the church. If I were to say two focuses that I don't think anyone would disagree, it's got to be catechesis and evangelization. No, we have to know the faith, we have to proclaim the faith, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to proclaim that faith with our entire being. I ask for your help, I ask you to join us, and together, together, let us move down the road to make the Diocese of Greensburg even stronger in the faith of Jesus Christ. Bishop-elect Kulik is a classic car enthusiast. As pastor of St. James Parish in New Alexandria, then Monsignor Kulik often proudly talked about his lifelong love of one manufacturer, Pontiac. St. James, like many parishes throughout the diocese, uh, has an annual car show. We've been doing it now for seven years. And it really is a, a great opportunity for people to come, to spend some time together. And we're very proud because even in the context of our parish, while we're all enjoying the cars, uh, it also is a great opportunity for us to share our faith and a great moment to evangelize. Bishop Alek Kulik is active in many Slovak cultural and fraternal organizations locally and nationally, and he also hosts the annual traditional Christmas Eve Slovak dinner in Greensburg. On the table, colorful oplaki or Christmas wafers with honey and garlic. So the oplaki is both a Christmas offering, like the Eucharist is an offering in the unleavened bread, but it also reminds us of our passage from sin to the life of grace. The garlic on the table was always taken first, and it reminds you of the bitter herbs. And the garlic is to symbolize sin, and the world before Christ that was a world of sin. Bishop Alek Kulik has embraced technology to enhance connectivity, but he's also built many personal connections with his faith community. God gives us a recipe for life. We find that recipe in the century-old teachings of the church. Christ gives us the recipe not only for a successful life on earth, but he gives us the recipe for eternal life. People will say, well, I'd like to tweak the recipe. I like to use the analogy, it's like baking the cake. Uh, we're gonna follow our own recipe, so we do. We put the cake in the oven, pull the cake out, and we look, and the cake is flat, or it's burnt. And what do we do? We throw our hands up and we say, God, why did you do this to me? And maybe God quietly says, I didn't do it to you. I gave you the recipe. Just follow the recipe 
and you'll get a good cake.